Hello everyone, I am Stephanie, an artist living in Van France, and in today's video I would like to share with you the process of my latest or one of my latest illustrations, which is about energy. Now this is an illustration among a few others I made for a challenge on Instagram that happened last week or so, which was our planet week, and which was well about climate change and the environmental impact of humans and human activities on the environment, which is already at the core of my own body of works, so it just just made sense to participate. Now they had five prompts and you had two days to work on each. I started a little bit earlier as they announced it I think one week earlier um, because, I because I already knew that two days for just one illustration was going to be tight for myself. <laughs> and it was quite a challenge for me to make these. Uh, two days is really short for an illustration, at least for myself, but I did enjoy the challenge quite a lot and it also permitted me to, you know, get out ideas and just do them without overthinking, which is always a bit of a challenge as an artist. You do tend to overthink every single artwork. Is it a good idea? Is it good enough? Is it clear? Is it interesting? Is it beautiful? And you don't have the time for that with challenges, so you have an idea, you do it. Uh, basically that's it. And uh, the one I'm going to show you today is my personal favorite, so it's not at all the favorites of, uh, or at least it's not the most popular one from those I showed on my Instagram feed. And probably it's probably the one that people like the least. <laughs> but for me, for myself, it's my absolute favorite. I loved how it turned out. I really like the colors I picked, the pink sky. I don't know. I, I, I really like everything about it and I was really happy to do that. And I feel like there's something for me to evolve on. So the topic was energy, so the prompt was energy. And now you might not know that, but green energy is actually a myth. So uh, there's never been a revolution in green energy. Uh, green energy have never replaced fossil fuels. If you look at a graph of what's happening in the world right now and since the industrial revolution, basically what's happening is that we consume more and more energy every damn year and green energy has simply been added on top of the bulk. So every year more fossil fuels, every year more nuclear energy, every, every year more uh, renewable energy, more coal, whatever. All the energies just they add up <laughs> and we consume more and more every year because we're, we're junkies. Yeah, I mean energy that's kind of our stuff uh, for humans. It's, it's, it's our best drug. It's the drug we are most addicted to. Uh, as you can see, you're on YouTube, you're using a lot of energy just streaming this video on your side of the world. It's questionable how useful that video is, probably not very, um, but that's another topic. Um, yeah, so energy is something that is widely uncomprehended. And if, if you talk French, if you speak French, then I would highly recommend watching any conference from Jean Covici, Jean-Marc, Jean Covici, I will add uh, maybe a link to his YouTube channel down below, um, if you speak French that is. Uh, I don't know of any English speakers that talk about energy just quite as efficiently as he does. He's an engineer and he just does a beautiful job at explaining everything. And one thing that he said, uh, I don't recall exactly how many, but basically every one of us in the Western world um, uses about 300 or so energetic slaves. So imagine in a world without energy where only man labor would, you know, be available, so to speak, um, to sustain our way of living. On average, we would need about 300 people just, you know, to live how we live between the food we eat, uh, the transportation, the clothes we are wearing, um, all, you know, that kind of junk we're using, video, uh, streaming, Netflix, uh, Spotify, Deezer, um, the way we live basically, 300, about 300 energetic slaves that every one of us is using, which I think we can agree is a bit much. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so basically the idea is to maybe reconsider our energy consumption and just do everything a little less, you know, a little less meat consumption, a little less plane traveling. I mean, obviously right now with the pandemic, 
traveling isn't really a topic, uh, but still, you, you get the point. The idea is really con to consume less energy so we can all have a better, very near future. Um, so yeah, so that's the topic and uh, that's the text that I attached to the illustration I'm currently showing you. Now, I personally um, have tried, I'm, I'm not perfect, far from it, but uh, I do try to, I've tried to change a few things in my own lifestyle and I think everyone can do that, you know, just to live a little less energy intensively. Um, it doesn't mean you live less. Uh, as a matter of fact, I would, I dare to say, you're probably going to live more. Because um, if you would live with intention, you're going to enjoy the things in life a lot more than if you just consume out of, you know, out, out of boredom. Uh, you know, it, just, it makes no sense. Um, and uh, the society we, in the society we live in is a bit about mindless consumption. You know, you, you consume I don't know how many videos per streaming per day. And I'm fully aware that I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I do have some some thoughts about it. But yeah, you consume uh, clothing, maybe uh, an enormous amount of packaging in the food industry. Um, I don't know, electronical gadgets, people change their phone once a year, sometimes more. Uh, and you have to wonder if this all makes sense. Um, spoiler, it doesn't. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, really the thing that I, I think is the most key or the most important in all of that is to question a bit um, your, um, your lifestyle, basically. Question what you're doing. Uh, the way you consume, if it makes sense, if it really makes you happy. I know my personal trap are art supplies. Um, I love art supplies and uh, seeing uh, new art supplies, it, it, it makes me really happy and I really want to buy them. But I also knew I don't need them. I already have everything I, ha I need at home. Um, so it's kind of pointless. So I tend to avoid, you know, art supply shop. I... I don't have any newsletters about art supplies. I really, you know, I don't follow art supplies online um, unless it's, you know, I follow one person who does handmade watercolors, but I feel like that's a bit different. But I would not follow, I followed for a while Jackson's art supplies because <laughs> I mean, their feed is gorgeous, but it always it always made me want to buy art supplies that absolutely don't need it. So that's of course that's my personal thing. Um, for for you, it might be clothing, but what I realized is whenever I would buy something that again I did need uh, because uh, when you need something, that's a whole different story. Or you're just re you're replacing stock or something like that. Uh, but when you buy things just because it looks pretty, then it comes home and you're like great, I, I fell into the trap again of consumerism and now I have that stuff at home and I don't even need it. Uh, so it doesn't really make me happy. Um, so yeah, it's kind of pointless. So I feel like something that we all need to really work on is in a world where everything is so tempting, but for vanities and really unnecessary things, I feel it's really important to just, you know, pause and question these things. And when you just get tempted and obsessive about certain things that you know, deep down you know they're not going to make you happy at all, just unsubscribe, you know? Um, go away, um, close the window, the online window, and, and do something that you know is going to make you happy. So for me, again, it's, it's doing art. <laughs> you see a pattern, right? Art supplies doing art, basically. <laughs> No, or reading, I don't know, uh, going for a walk in nature, I really like that, or drinking tea, or doing nothing. Doing nothing is actually really nice, uh, to just, you know, sit down and um, be with yourself. Uh, there's beauty in that. And I feel like we've kind of lost touch with ourselves in the excessive consumption of goods, of videos, of entertainment, you know, it's like we crave being, we, we are afraid of being bored, but at the same time, consuming so much makes us even more bored because nothing is really interesting. And so we, we're trying to always consume more and more and it's just overall very dissatisfying. And that's kind of what, um, what energy is 
all about you know it's just like you're losing energy you're using an incredible amount of energy for things that are simply not satisfying not really worth your time and um, attention and uh, yeah it's kind of sad really so if if i can if i can if i can give you an, an advice or something i'm not sure it's an advice but just like be your be with yourself more be with yourself more and uh, be more where you are in the moment doing things that you enjoy i'm not saying you don't you shouldn't buy anything i mean doing art you do need supplies so that's fine uh, you do need clothing um, because we cannot go out naked in our society uh, so there's a fine line between you know we all need a certain amount of things um, but when you realize you buy too many of the same things then maybe you might having a bit of, a, of an issue. So yeah, that's kind of my point. <laughs> so yeah, I really wanted to talk to you about that. These are things that I think a lot of my, in, in my own life and my own work. I didn't talk much about the painting today, but yeah, I really, I really like how it turned out. The sky is, pe is a pale pink, which I mixed myself with some white gouache and some PR122. Um, pigment, quinacridone, magenta, and uh, yeah, then um, those are fossil fuel plants um, with flowers growing out um, on top, and the flowers are taking the shape of clouds because I thought that was an interesting idea and just went with that. And uh, it's very pastel. Um, I feel like I'm I'm entering a phase of more pastel colors these days. I feel like I need some gentle colors these days and so yeah these pastel colors just kind of hit the right spot for me right now uh, and yeah I really enjoyed making that illustration. I love the result. Um, yeah it's available in case you, you have the money. <laughs> um, the original is on my website and you can get prints on Redbubble. That kind of wraps it up for this video. I don't really have any more to add today and I think with all I have said today, it should cover <laughs> it should cover the process and the time lapse of me actually doing the illustration. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the process and I hope you enjoyed me talking about things that are not fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, you know, because the algorithm likes that. <laughs> Maybe subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.